one needle <laughs> on the end of a needle bar. If you're doing something traditional, you could use eight, 15, 20 needles in a, in a grouping, you know? It's just one needle attached to two needles attached to the needle bar. I think a fine line tattoo is anything done with a single needle. I mean, there's people that would argue that, you know, and say that you could use a tight three to get the same look, but realistically you can't. I use the same exact things to make a traditional tattoo now that I use as a, for a fine line, you know? I just use a different needle. I was pretty much like a miscreant kid, you know? I was like getting in trouble didn't want to go to school. I don't know if I really uh, sought out learning how to tattoo as much as, you know, I was provided with a way to do it. So I, I was like, screw it, I'll do tattoos. It's better than going to school. I mean, I started tattooing in like 2001. So it was about I feel like it was about that time it started becoming more acceptable. But for the most part, I mean, I had friends when I was younger that were like, I want fine line stuff. I want it to look like it was done in California. And at the time I was just doing like traditional tattoos, you know, cause that's what I, you know, that's what the guys who taught me did. My friends were the ones who were like, oh, I want fine line stuff. So I started doing it on them. And it's only be been recently that it's been become more popular, you know? I mean, realistically, there's a lot of people in this world that don't want to be covered in tattoos, and it's easier to do something super small with a fine line, you know? I try and execute pretty, essentially a traditional tattoo with a single needle, just super small, you know? You could do any type of tattoo with a fine line, you know? I do traditional stuff, Japanese stuff, you know? fine art stuff all with the fine line so it just depends on what you like and what you want to put on people and more essentially what the person wants to get how have celebrities impacted this style of tattoo um i think i mean celebrities have but i think more it's more like the social media and celebrities have impacted it you know because i mean models and actresses and actors you know they up until recently, they couldn't get covered in tattoos. So everything had to be as small and discreet as possible. I think that's really, I mean, how it worked out to, to become as popular as, as it is right now. Well, I mean, it's easy to make a tattoo look good for Instagram. You know what I mean? People take photos and you know, mess with the filters and stuff. I mean, re realistically, the only way for me to tell is to see it in person, you know, because I have seen tattoos in person uh, that I've seen online, and sometimes they look totally different, you know, they heal like crap sometimes, you know? I mean, realistically, the best way is to see a healed photo. The first single needle tattoo I did was probably 12 years ago and I've seen it healed since then and it looks great. You know what I mean? It just, you know, sometimes you can't cram 50 pounds of stuff in, in, into like this little tiny bag, you know? So as long as there's enough space for the tattoo to grow and heal, it'll look great forever. Dr. Wu is exceptional. Uh, Mina Aoki, who I taught how to tattoo, is exceptional. Charlie Cartwright and, you know, Jack Rudy and Mark Mahoney and Freddie Negretti have definitely been the people like at the forefront of this style of tattooing, you know? I've tattooed people that are like, I don't even feel this. And then I've tattooed people that are like, this hurts way more than a bull tattoo, you know? So it just depends. I think everybody tries to generalize like the feeling of getting a tattoo by, you know, the pain level or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's just some people I think are a little tougher than other people and some people are not as tough. I mean, if the tattoo's done right and they're not scraping it with sandpaper, most of the time it's gonna heal good. Like I don't buy into using like the Tagaderm and all that stuff. I mean, realistically, I see my tattoos five days later and they're healed.
Everything's in the palm of your hand. You know, when I started tattooing, like we weren't even allowed to have a computer in the shop. So if there was any type of reference that I needed or if I wanted to see how something was done, I actually had to go to a bookstore or go to another tattoo shop and watch it happen. So, I mean, realistically, you could get good at doing any tattoo super fast because everything's right there, you know? All the knowledge is right there, you know? You don't have to hunt for anything anymore. The guys that were doing traditional bold tattoos, you know, 60, 100 years ago, they were using a thin line. They were using like threes. I think at some point, uh, tattooers are gonna have to get with the times and realize that there's more to what they wanna do and there's to what people want as well.